Organisations apologise when they fail and they tend to fail for two reasons. They've either had an operational failure, so a product recall or delayed flights, or they've had a cultural failure, which might be an offensive advert or a tweet that people didn't like. Uh, operational failure deals with consumer rights. Um, fairly easy to apologise for that. You explain what happened and you tell the customer, here's what we're going to do to uh, make it right. With a cultural failure, it's a lot more difficult. The parameters of failure blurry. Um, people perceive your failure in different ways depending on their own um, viewpoint on the world. Uh, one interesting example of this happening recently was a British uh, stationery retailer. They partnered with a, a newspaper, uh, not a particularly popular newspaper in terms of uh, political views and campaigning. They were called out effectively on Twitter by another organisation that goes around the internet patrolling brands and where they advertise and telling them why they shouldn't advertise in certain places. So the retailer, instead of referring to a robust crisis management plan, effectively outsourced their crisis management process to Twitter. And when you do that, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to be apologising within 24 hours. Um, so they said to Twitter, um, all right, we've heard you what do you think we should do? And Twitter's not the most rational or measured place, so they ended up giving a really grovelling apology that had almost zero benefit to perceptions of their brand.